Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton's remorse feud ended after this royal family member intervened after weeks and weeks of reported incidents. Kate Middleton and Meghan Markle's remorse feud has reportedly come to an end thanks to Prince Charles. A royal expert has claimed that the Prince of Wales knocked heads together over the festive season in a bid to stop disagreements between the Duchess of Cambridge and Duchess of Sussex. Princess Diana biographer Robert Jobson told Australia's Sunrise earlier this week that he does think there may have been a rift between the Duchesses as there's no smoke without fire. However, he added opening bracket via the sun closing bracket. I do think it has been blown up a little bit but there have obviously been a few problems between the two ladies and even between the two princes. There's some truth in the rumors. I'm sure at Christmas Prince Charles was knocking heads together and you can see that by those photographs of them all walking together in a line. But they looked like they had been pushed together in a line, to be honest. He also dismissed the idea that Meghan had chosen another hospital to give birth and to snub the royals. The mum-to-be is said to have chosen NHS Friendly Park Hospital, whereas Kate has welcomed all three of her children at the Linda Wing of St. Mary's Hospital, Paddington. The private wing was also where Prince William and Prince Harry were born. They were going to be down in Frogmore Cottage, which is near Windsor so they were going to be out of town anyway. This is actually where Sophie Wessex had her babies and I think they were quite skilled in older mums. Sophie was quite late having her babies 38 or 39 I think and then you've got Meghan who's going to be 37. I think it's best to be in a national health hospital where they've got all the facilities and all of the emergency units. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news update.